iOS 7.1 Beta 3 doesn't bring a lot of groundbreaking features to the table, but it does bring some quite subtle, uh, cool looking features uh, and UI updates mainly to the table. For instance, here with the shuffle and repeat buttons, you see they have that little background color. Uh, so that's new. Uh, also, something I showed you earlier, the wallpaper and brightness, you, you can now set the reduced motion on a wallpaper basis. So you can turn off parallax effect basically directly from the wallpaper settings uh, and, and you don't have to turn off the animations. You also have this, the slide to power off dialog slide to power off dialog. Yeah, you see that's completely different. It has a little circular knob there and you can also have the circular cancel button so you can tap that. That is completely new. Also the messages and FaceTime app icons uh, and the phone app icon if you're running an iPhone, uh, those are different. They have been, uh, the color of those have been adjusted a bit. You also have circular buttons in the phone dialer. Unfortunately, I'm running this on an iPod Touch, not an iPhone, so I can't really show you all that, but you can see from FaceTime some clues as to the direction that Apple is heading in that regard. There's also a new setting in the accessibility under increased contrast. They reduce white point. It's a really subtle uh, setting, a really subtle change. You will notice it, uh, but just barely, especially when you're on a white background, you'll notice it, but you're not gonna really notice that huge of a difference with the white point disabling that or enabling that. The difference isn't really that discernible unless you're ex you're just specifically looking for it, in other words. Another thing I noticed, and I'm not sure, you guys can tell me, but I'm not 100% sure if this is new to beta three or beta two, but the bouncing, the rubber band banding uh, effect effect that you get when you open up control center, notification center to a lesser degree, but control center definitely has a new rubber banding effect uh, that it applies. It is not present on iOS 7.0.4. I can verify that. I was not able to compare it to the previous iOS 7.1 beta though. Another thing is the keyboard. You'll notice some changes with the keyboard. The shift and delete keys are a little different. Uh, and there are some other, other subtle changes throughout the entire iOS 7 UI. And I'm sure you guys will notice some stuff. You'll probably make some corrections to this video, but just let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.